السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله على آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد رب شح لي صدري واحسن لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه امين يا رب العالمين so welcome to the uh, ikna uh, con- dawa conference ikna is uh, the conference title is islam the solution in times of confusion with our next speaker imam rafiq and uh, mahdi he works uh, with uh, ikna with Ikna Relief USA and this brother subhanallah I don't know how many hats he has he's constantly working uh helping teaching uh, providing food for the shelters and uh all the social work that he's doing he's uh, originally from Knoxville Tennessee or he's uh residing in Knoxville Tennessee uh, again he's got multiple hats inshallah before uh we you know uh spend any more time I wanted you to uh give him the full I wanted to give him the floor inshallah and we'll have him speak for about 15 minutes and he will talk uh and there's the imam and he he's gonna, he's going to be talking about the um like a good tree so here without further ado inshallah I give you the imam uh Rafiq. Okay. Assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وبعد all praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask his peace and blessings upon his servant and his final messenger Muhammad upon his family and his companions and those who follow him in faith and practice until the last day ثم اما بعد um I apologize uh, first of all and for the fact that um the the video or the aesthetics is not quite um what I would like it to be joining you live right now from Pensacola Florida where I am responding um with Igna Relief USA to the Hurricane Sally um so I am trying to um make the best of a uh, a difficult situation we're we're dealing with here there's no internet we're using a hot spot and um just the aesthetics may not be um that great so please um uh, bear with me with that bi'idnillah um inshallah ta'ala <clears throat> today I want to share um with all of you just very briefly um some lessons from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we as an umma mashallah and how we can bring this deen and bring this message of islam here in the society where we live and we all recognize that that is our role that is our responsibility and while we are busy in all the aspirations and and desires and plans that we have in our lives for ourselves our our families our children and so forth that we are first and foremost mashallah ummatis of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa bad so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in his book in surah ibrahim bad a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim alam tara kayfa darab allah mathal kalimatan tayyiba ka shajaratin tayyiba aswaha thabitun wa far'uha fi as-samaa tu'ti ukulaha kullahin bi'izni bi'izni rabbiha wa yadrubu Allah al-amthala lin-nas la'allahum yatadhakkarun so mashallah tabarakallah in these two ayat from surah al-ibrahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he does in many places in the Quran he gives us yani a mathal yani he gives us um something for us to think about as Allah has given us mashallah the qualities that make us who we are as human beings and from amongst those qualities our intellect our aql our afida our emotions our understanding so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the english meaning 
Have you not considered how Allah SWT presents an example of a good word is like a good tree whose root is firmly fixed and its branches high in the sky? It produces its fruit all the time by permission of its Lord. And Allah presents examples for the people that perhaps they will be reminded so that perhaps they will reflect. So subhanAllah, this is of course um, a, a, a method and a metaphor from Allah SWT that it, it has many layers, many facets of, of, of teaching and understanding the reflection that we can learn from and benefit from. But we know that 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 kalima tayyiba, you know, that good word, that it begins with this kalima la ilaha illallah. Wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Indeed, this is the kalima that was brought by all of the anbiya alayhi wa salatu salam and all of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi wa salatu salam. And from the time of Nuh alayhi salam to the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam that every one of them, that they came to their people with this kalima. And this is the kalima, kalima the tayyibah, and the pure kalima, that from this kalima, from this kalima, when it is rooted in the heart, when that iman is rooted in the heart, then you will see, mashallah, the results of that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the example like a tree. That subhanAllah, we don't see the roots of a tree. When you see a tree, you see the tree from the surface of the ground going up. You don't see the roots. But we know that if the roots of that tree are not planted firmly and deeply and are not drawing from the nutrients uh, of the earth, the water and the soil and so forth, then we will see the effects of that in the parts of the tree that are visible to us. And when we see a tree that is, mashallah, healthy and green and producing fruits and giving benefit to those whom they are encountering it, whether it be the fruits of the tree, whether it be the shade of the tree, whether it be just the beauty of looking at the tree, subhanAllah, that all of these benefits coming from that source of that tree, which is the roots which are firmly planted. So as ummatis of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that when we have that faith in our hearts, we have that kalima tayyiba, yani that seed of iman in our hearts, as we learn from the Prophet Wasallam, that the iman, yani mahallahu al-qalb, that iman, the place of it is in the heart, that when it is in the heart, then you will see the results of that on the tongue. And you will receive the, the results of that in the in the limbs and the actions of the one who they have iman in their heart. So this is on an individual basis and on a collective basis that when we come together, as Allah SWT tells us in the Quran, And Allah SWT is saying that those individuals, mashallah, those individual ummatis of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam when they come together with that kalima tayyibah within their hearts, with that iman within their hearts, then you will see the fruits of that from the individuals and from the community. And mashallah, tabarakallah, and this is what we endeavor to manifest yani, as individuals, as um, in our communities, in our families, but also as an organization, an institution founded here in the United States for the propagation of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And recognizing and understanding that we are carrying on the legacy of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, that we are carrying on the legacy of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'een, and he carrying on, mashallah, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, deen al-Islam. So alhamdulillah, mashallah, tabarakallah, and the Ikna Relief USA is dedicated to domestic social services work here in the United States where we live, where our children are being born, where we are, mashallah, established in this society. And we have to work for the good of this society, mashallah. The solutions that we are looking for, for the challenges we are facing here in the United States, we know as Muslims 
that they will come from the guidance of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger And we have to present them in a way that it is palatable to the people. And mashallah, this is the likelihood of the, the of this tree that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining in the Quran. That mashallah, the fruits are there evident for everyone to see, for everyone to benefit from. That when we have this kalima tayyibah firmly planted in our hearts, the iman of ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, and that mashallah, tabarakallah, that the fruits of that coming forth from how we interact with those whom we are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it was an understanding that, yes, of course, we are always going to strive to be active in our families, in our communities, but that as ummatis of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yani we have to bring the beauty and the light of this deen, the fruits of the deen of Al-Islam to the society in which we live. And one of the ways that we learn from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of doing that is communicating with, to, with people in the language that they understand. And I'm not, um, and of course, yes, we understand that English is, is the language here in the United States and, and uh, we all strive to learn it, to, to, um, to be proficient in it and to, to converse in it. But my, my meaning here is the language that opened the hearts of people. And that, mashallah, is the language about compassion. You know, that we know what we have faced as Muslims here in the United States and in recent years, we know all of the misinformation. We know all of the all of the propaganda. We know all of the um, you know the the disingenuousness that is taking place you know, in the media and so forth and so on. But how do we tra tra trans you know, transpose above all of that? How do we you know, go beyond all of that? Is by sharing with the language that everyone understands the language of compassion to love for our brothers and sisters in humanity that which we love for ourselves to follow the example of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu and mashallah you know, how he used to interact with you know, the people Remember that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, when he received that first revelation, when he was ordered by Allah SWT to go out and spread this good word, that subhanAllah, there were no Muslims, that subhanAllah, that he began with his close relatives, his wife, and he, his cousin, his best friend, his close relatives, and he was out in the society dealing every day with non-Muslims dealing every day with people who they were hostile towards towards him, people whom they did not want to let go of their culture and what they had been taught. They were not open-minded to receive. But mashallah, through the fruits of that iman, through the fruits of the iman, which is husnu khuluk, yani good character, compassion, being patient with people and he's seeing what the needs of the people are and trying to meet those needs for the pleasure of Allah, then we know, mashallah, tabarakallah, what unfolded over the next 23 years in Mecca al-Muqarramah and in, and in Medina al -Munawwara. So, mashallah, tabarakallah, brothers and sisters, um, we have been given a unique opportunity here in the United States. And ICNA, the Islamic Circle of North America, as the umbrella and all of the organizations which fall under the Islamic Circle of North America, such as ICNA Relief, we are striving in every aspect to show the beauty of this deen, to show the fruits of this kalima tayyiba in the society where we live. So whether it is through the programs that we are doing domestically with ICNA Relief, disaster response, mashallah, yani, hunger prevention, Muslim family services, transitional housing for sisters, Muslim sisters and sisters in here in the United States, and in medical services, mashallah, and in all of these things that we are doing back to school, that we are striving to show the fruits of this kalima taiba that is in our heart and let everyone benefit from those fruits. 
And we know that when we make that effort for the pleasure of Allah, then we are the first ones gaining the benefit that Allah SWT in his mercy, he has, mashallah, shown us and given us the understanding that every effort that we make to establish this deen and to be ambassadors of this deen, to be those whom they indeed show the beauty and the light of this deen through their works, their fruits that benefit the society, then they are the first ones to gain the benefit and the entire society gains the benefit. So alhamdulillah, I mean, we know the challenges that we are facing I mean, in this virtual world. And we know that, um, you know, we feel, you know, the, uh, you know, the anxiety of missing being close to each other and, and just having those interactions with each other and seeing the faces of each other and smiling in the faces of each other. But we have to take opportunities. We have to take advantage of the, 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 the capabilities and, and the tools that Allah SWT has blessed us with so that we can stay close even under these circumstances. So alhamdulillah, it's, it's, it's a great honor to be with you today in this conference. And inshallah, all of us will learn that we have to be that tree that we have to, mashallah, accept and embrace that legacy of that kalima tayyibah in our hearts and the fruits and that are coming and, and showering throughout the society up to the sama, as Allah mentioned, because of the firmness of that faith and the example of our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى التوفيق والآفية أقول لكم بهذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم واستغفروه إن الله لا غفور رحيم جزاكم الله خير وبارك الله فيكم زاك حالي كونستان زاك الله خير بارك الله لك أستاذ thank you very much I know you are in a tough situation there with the internet but I mean may Allah preserve you may Allah continue to reward you and continue to teach and be an inspiration for all of us